Hello everyone, this is Vortex259. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Advance. Today we are going to continue making our way through the water cavern so that we can reach Damsian Castle and hopefully the Antlion Cave. We're going to need to find a sand ruby inside that cave in order to save Rosa's life. But we have a crazy old codger blocking the way across the bridge here. So let's just talk to this old man and see what his deal is. Hi, are you the bridge keeper? Yes, I am the bridge keeper. Oh, good. Uh, anyone crossing by my border must do exactly as I order. Wait a minute, just who do you think you are? We'll be the ones calling the shots around here, mister. <laughs> Actually, if we talk to the old man, he says, could that be? It is, that dark sword. Dark Knight, I need your assistance. Oh, so you need our assistance now, huh? Cecil says, what's wrong? The old man says, I must get to Dampsian to reclaim my daughter. She was deceived by a wicked bard. We must hurry, for I sense an ill omen. Cecil says, you must be Sage Tella. Oh, okay, so this is the Sage Tella that we heard about in the village of Kaipo. Apparently, his daughter ran away from home. Tella says, indeed I am. And that girl, she's a summoner. Perfect. She can help, too. A giant monster lurks in the lake ahead. That devil even withstands magic. I think we can defeat it together, and then I can finally be on my way. Cecil says, we're hurrying to Dampsian as well. Tella says, then let us make haste. All right, so we're going to get a new party member. The Sage Tella has joined the party. Very nice. Now, if you were to actually come to the water cavern before you found Rosa ill in bed in the village of Kaipo, Tella would not let you pass. You actually need to see the scene with Rosa first before you can get Tella to join your party. All right, well, first things first here, what we need to do is actually put Tella in the back row. No sense having a feeble old man take hits from monsters in the front row. But actually, Tella's not too feeble when it comes to magic spells. He comes pre-equipped with a decent selection of both white and black magic spells, and both of those will come in handy as we progress through this underground waterway. Now, as far as his starting equipment goes, he comes pre-equipped with a staff and a leather garb. And actually, if you use the staff as an item in battle on one of your party members, it will cure poison. But I'm going to go ahead and replace that staff with the rod that I purchased in Kaipo so that he can use that as an item in battle to do damage against monsters. Now, I also purchased a leather cap and an iron ring in Kaipo, so I'm going to go ahead and equip those on Tella as well and slightly increase both his defense and his magic defense. All right, well, now that we have Tella in our party, we're free to explore the rest of the water cavern, so let's get started here. Actually, what we want to do first is turn east across this bridge. We've got some treasure we need to go pick up on this side of the cave. And there's the first chest up there in order to get it. Let's just go down this ladder and then work our way back up there. All right, well, we get to fight our first battle in the cave here. We're going to fight three dragon toads and we're gonna have to defeat them quickly before they cast the toad spell on us and they are weak against ice so we'll have Rydia cast the blizzard spell and easily take them out. Nothing to that one. Very easy battle. We get 72 gil and 89 experience points and we get a new entry in our bestiary so let's check it out. 5% complete now. The Jiggin Toad is number 11 in our bestiary list. Should it turn you into a toad, it will occasionally drop the Maiden's Kiss item, which will cure the toad status ailment. Otherwise, you can see it has 47 HP, weak against ice, and of course, it's going to be resistant against the toad spell. All right, let's go pick up that chest up here. 
inside this treasure chest we will find another iron ring and I'm actually going to hang on to that for a little while we'll be putting that to use again a little bit later on now before we backtrack we want to continue walking through the water here there's actually some more hidden treasure up ahead let's just turn to the west here all right I've got a preemptive strike against Two new enemies. We've got a water bug in the background and three vile shells in the front. Now the vile shells are going to be weak against the thunder spell and so is the water bug but watch what happens when I have Rydia use thunder on all of the enemies. It's actually going to take out all three of the vile shells but the water bug is going to counter with renew which will renew all of its HP. It will actually do that if you don't successfully kill it. But I think Tella is going to be able to kill it if you just cast the Thunderspell on the Water Bug alone. It has 125 HP, so yeah, that's going to do it. So if you don't successfully take out the Water Bug, it will eventually retreat. So that's why it's important to take it out as quickly as possible so you can get all the extra experience and gill. We get 163 gill and 176 experience points we find a new treasure which is the mallet which will remove the mini status so i'll definitely take that in case i'm minied in the future let's check out those new entries in our bestiary there we go two new entries vile shell is number 13 they have 58 hp of course they're weak against lightning and the water bug is number 18 in our list drops a few random treasures there under 25 HP, also weak against lightning. All right, let's go pick up that treasure. In order to get it, we're gonna wanna walk through the waterfall here. We've got a hidden chamber behind that waterfall with three treasure chests waiting for us. So let's get busy opening here. The first treasure chest is going to contain a dry ether, which will restore a ton of MP. Now, I would highly recommend saving that for much later in the game because at this point in the game, the regular ethers will restore plenty enough MP for you. This second treasure chest contains an X potion. Again, that's going to recover a ton of HP. So again, I'd recommend that you hang on to that for now. Save it for much later in the game. And the third treasure chest is going to contain a Phoenix Down, which of course recovers KO. So some pretty nice treasure hidden in this room back behind the waterfall here. All right, well, now that we've gotten all of those treasures, it's time to backtrack. Well, that was a battle with three more vile shells and another water bug. And one thing I neglected to mention is Tella can use a special ability called the Recall ability. And by using that ability, he can occasionally recall a more potent spell. But for now, I just recommend using his basic magic spells as they'll be sufficient enough to get you through this cave alive. And Rydia gains a level after that battle with three more vile shells and another water bug. She's now level 11. Continuing to backtrack here. We can go either way. I guess we can take this path for fun. All right, there's the staircase, which is going to take us up to the next floor. So here we are on the second floor of the underground waterway. Let's go pick up some more treasure. There's a treasure chest up there. It seems like in this version of Final Fantasy IV that certain monsters like to appear more frequently than others. That was yet more vile shells and another water bug. Okay, this treasure chest contains a potion. Should be one more we can get, but we're gonna have to walk around to get it. Well, I just actually had the ATB battle glitch occur for the first time in the game with Tella. He was set to attack before his ATB gauge filled up, so I just had him defend and continued on with it. So that definitely is an annoying factor in this version of Final Fantasy IV, in the North American version. Okay, here's the other treasure chest. Inside here we'll pick up an ether. Now we'll just 
just kind of continue around in a clockwise fashion. Well, that was a battle with more Jiggin Toads. Easily took them out with Tella's Blizzard Spill. And we have arrived at the doorway that's going to take us to a save point. But we'll go ahead and stop here for today and continue onward in our next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Advance. I do thank you very much for watching today's episode, everyone. This has been Vortex259, your host. Have yourself a great day. And we will see you again next time.